Google AdSense is a free service that lets you monetize your website and YouTube channel. Google AdSense allows you to place their ads on your content, and when users interact with the ads, you will receive a commission. But before you apply for Google AdSense, you should watch my video on Google AdSense rejection and how to get approved. It will save you a lot of headache and time. And there's a couple ways to apply to Google AdSense. You can apply through YouTube's partner program once your channel is eligible for monetization. You can also use the Google Site Kit plugin for WordPress, or you can just go directly to Google AdSense and register. And there might be a few other ways that you can get you to AdSense, but these are the most popular ways and any of those options you choose will send you to Google AdSense website anyway. So we're just mainly going to be focusing on the website side of it and I'll walk you through the YouTube monetization at a later time. So we'll just start from there. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go to Google's AdSense site and I'll leave the link to it under the like and subscribe button below if you want to follow along. So this is what the Google AdSense homepage looks like and you can browse around to see what it has to offer. But apparently it recognizes my cookies and lets me know that I have an account that's associated with AdSense. But instead of signing in, I'm just going to sign up so you guys can see. Um, but uh, you can always sign in and do it that way if you want. And then we're at the sign up screen and pretty basic stuff here. Just put in the name of your website, which is required. But if you do need a website, go check out my video on easy ways to create a website. And once you put the website address in, you can enter the email you want to use and you can choose to receive information from Google. Uh, I'm just going to choose no for this example, but uh, you're welcome to do so if you wish. And then hit the save and continue. So now you can change your info if you forgot something and then select your country. And I'm going to select the US and then I want to review some of the terms and conditions. And then uh, check the box and hit create account. Cool, so now our account is created and they have a little quick start guide that pops up and we'll just select uh, get started and it immediately takes you to the payment address details. So the very first thing you'll be able to edit is the account type and you can choose from two different types. You have the individual or business. Essentially payments for a business account are sent to the business that you specify and payments for an individual account are sent to the payee of the account here. And this is very important because you can't change the account type after you activate AdSense. The only way to change this after activation is to cancel your existing AdSense account and open a new account with your preferred type. And I'll leave a link in the description where you can find more information on this. And then you want to enter the address of your business or the address of operations. Uh, the phone number is optional so we'll skip that and then hit submit. Then it will take us over to verify our phone number. So unlike the address info from earlier, you are required to enter a valid phone number to activate your account. Uh, once you enter your number, you can then request a text message or a phone call to verify the AdSense account. And I'm just going to use text and I'll receive a verification code on my phone. And then I'll just enter it here and press submit. Alright, so once you are verified, it's time to connect your website to AdSense. First, you need to make sure your URL of your website is correct. If it isn't, you can edit it here. If you're using an HTML editor, then all you have to do is copy this AdSense code. Uh, you can either select the whole thing and copy it or just click on the copy link right below here. Uh, then go to your HTML and find the header section and then paste that script in the header section like this. And once you're done pasting the code and saving your script, then just go back to the AdSense page and check the box to confirm that you pasted the code into your site and hit done. And it'll start to look for your code and it'll try to find it and then you're done. Now all it's left to do is wait for Google to verify everything is in working order and you should be good to go. But if you're using WordPress and don't want to deal with the coding process, then we could just use Google's very own plugin. So we're going to go over to WordPress here and we're at the menu and then you just want to go over to the plugin section and then click on add new. Then just type in Google in the search bar and you'll see site kit by Google. Then go ahead and click on install. And once it's done installing, go ahead and activate it as well. Once it's done activating, it should take you back to the plugin section again. And you might need to scroll down a bit to see it. But if you don't, then go over to the site kit section on the side menu up here and you can start the kit from there. But from here, you can allow the plugin to collect information from your site by checking the box here. But uh, we'll leave it alone for now and click on start setup. 
So now we're at the site kit setup and it's going to want you to set up search console and in order to do that you need to sign up using the Google account or your Google account uh, but I'm going to use mine here and once you're logged into your account it's going to ask you to give search console some permissions to access data and then it's going to ask you to confirm site kit's permission to access that same data and then once you're done looking through everything go ahead and hit the allow button once you allow all that, then you can click proceed to allow SiteKit to verify ownership of the website. Perfect. So now it just basically says that we have been verified as the owner and now it's on to step two. And then your website wants access to your Google account info and we'll just allow that as well. And Google wants to add your site to the search console so your website can be searchable throughout the internet. We'll just go ahead and do that too because that's pretty important. All right, SiteKit is completely set up. Let's go ahead and head back to our dashboard by clicking here. You can click on connect to AdSense from here and SiteKit wants all the permissions again, but this time it's for AdSense. And since we're here, we might as well talk about other Google services that you can connect to SiteKit. You can connect to Google Analytics and PageSpeed Insights from here. And you don't have to use the SiteKit to access this information if you don't want to. But at the very least, it's good to set these services up to help you improve your website's performance and engagement. But uh, to set up AdSense from here is relatively straightforward. Uh, you can click on the connect service from here and it'll ask you to sign in with your Google account again. And then you will go through the prompts to give SiteKit permissions to access data from your AdSense account. You want to review the terms again and allow the connection to SiteKit. Now we are back at the WordPress SiteKit dashboard you can see it's just getting the account ready so now you can either click on this link below it and it'll take you back to your AdSense account that you created earlier but since I have the tab open already uh, I'll just go over to the account that way and now we can go ahead and check the box here and click on done and it's gonna look for that code and finds it and uh, we'll just click on it and say we're done now all I have to do is to wait for Google to verify everything and we're good to go. And like I said on my video on how to get approved with Google AdSense, it took me four days for them to approve my application, but yours may vary depending on your situation. I know with switching to different pages and clicking on different things that this might seem confusing on what we just did, but essentially we used our Google account to create a Google AdSense account and then we use our Google Site Kit to verify and connect our website to our AdSense account, thereby eliminating us from copying the code through our HTML or through our hosting services. And aside from the business type, you can change your information for your Google AdSense account at any time if you realize you made a mistake or if your business has changed. So don't stress out too much if you made a mistake along the way of creating your account. And there are a few other ways you can connect to AdSense, but with these two ways, it should cover most people who are looking to connect their website to AdSense. This demonstration was the exact process that's done for my actual website. So if you're interested in seeing how the ads look, then go ahead and visit my website at hbxfocus.com. And if this was helpful, then hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, then subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next new video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.